Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Uh, playing Blood, as always, the point of this will... Like, you, normally when you play Blood Death Knight, there's there's not much to do other than get top healing. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. It's not gonna be too hard. Gonna run in that giant group of people right there. And then hopefully we just don't get focused super hard. I'm gonna pop a miss. Hopefully we get bone stacks. And then just kinda back off. And now the plan here is to just hit a ton of DPS. And uh yeah, spread disease to everyone. It's not really much to Blood Death Knight other than you know, just really pressing your death strike. Pressing your bone generation ability, whatever that shit is. And, uh, knowing to heal. That's about it. I'm not really taking that much damage, so... I'm having a pretty good time so far. I'm also pretty high in damage as well. Just kind of having a day with their healer. Blood Plague goes a long way. Let's probably kill that Counter-Strike. Goodbye, buddy. So I think the main thing here I'm trying to do is keep up my leech buff, which is applied every time I death strike. I don't think I should have it up all the time, but uh, because like if you're just getting attacked and you're suddenly lacking those resources for your death strike, then that's not a very good situation to be in. But so far we're doing all right. You know we're, <laughs> we're just sitting among them, so I figure we're not in that bad of a situation. I'm gonna stun this guy as well. Death chained. Hopefully, someone will die here. Good old banner of the fallen. Let's see if I'll pick that up. Probably not. I really can't tell if I'm getting focused or not. I don't think I'm doing this much damage, but apparently. Oh, hey, Drew. <laughs> How's it going? It's nice meeting you. That's a bop. <clears throat> How could you do this? Eh. Okay. We'll use that. Why not? Fuck your Counter-Strike totem. Get some charges here. Use some vampiric blood. Pretty sure it's a meteor coming down. Yeah. Oh my. Where'd your health go? I, I just trinketed nothing. I'm the best. Okay. So we're, we're starting to get in a hairy situation here. But if the healer dies, then we might be alright. Come here, pussy. Am I like. Aw, oh, he rezzed. What a wiener. I'm dead. I panicked. <laughs> that sucks. That was a good run, though. Am I top in damage? Almost. Top in healing? Almost as well. So, usually when you're tanking, you're taking a. Uh, Stone skin gargoyle for a weapon enchant. I'm taking Rune of the Fallen Crusader. Don't really know why, but I am. I'm pretty sure it's just for the strength increase. It's also because I'm too lazy to have another weapon to switch into whenever, you know, I go from DPS to tank. So figured I'd just use the same weapon. Don't have to worry about any of that. I'm just gonna death. Oh, dude, this is the same guy that has the black battle tank. I just did a recording of uh, Feral Druid, and that that is the same guy. That was the same Dark Iron Dwarf that has black black battle tank, which pretty much means he's been playing since vanilla, and uh, also means he's pretty much a legend. I don't even know how much a, an account with a black battle tank would sell for. Easily thousands, I'd say. But then it would just get banned, and then you wouldn't be able to play it, so... Hey, there he is. Come back, you fucker. There he is. Black Karaji Battle Tank. Scarab Lord Firecaller. That's a horrible name. <laughs> it's a horrible character name. Is he really going there with just no DPS? Oh, okay. No, yeah, that's, that's DPS. So here's the plan here, guy. Oh man, that's two healers. Alright, 
so that is a blood plague for everyone, which means I'm just going to get a ton of heals. I should go on the healer as well. I'm pretty sure... Hold on. Hold on, I have things to do here. I think that... Yeah, Shaman dipped. Okay, good enough. So, pretty much the rotation for Blood Death Knight, if you don't know it, is pressing Blood Boil. Never have it at two stacks unless you just aren't able to get someone in the range of it. Uh, always have 10 stacks of Marl Rend or Bone Shield, or at least try to maintain 10 stacks. I'd say if you're above 5, you'll be fine, but you really want to maintain, like, at least 7 or above, I'd say. And then Heart Strike when you have nothing else to press, and use Death Strike when you actually need the health, not whenever you just want to. Uh, unless, like, you're going a consistent amount of time just not taking damage, then go for it. Use Death Strike whenever you want. So one of the things I don't do enough is using Heart Strike at the beginning of a kind of engagement because it slows. And I just I just don't use it enough. Like, you'll see here, I just got this on him. He did freedom it before, but I'm not trinketing this. There's really no point. I should probably fight on the note as well. He's kind of trying to drag me off, which I do realize now. Not today, man. Use mine offenses, use death chains. I'm just fucking dead here, but... Yeah. I tried. Just... <laughs> just missed the res, okay. And we're back. I'm not really sure what to take here. I feel like Bloodworms is the best just because it's extra damage. I don't think the leech is actually that great. Let's go ahead and protect that flag here. God, he has a ton of fucking health. What the fuck? 171,000 health. That guy's just a machine. Simply put. It's always this guy. Just stun him again. Poor guy. And death grip back. Into the meteor. Poor dude. The thing is, we don't have any points, so... And if this guy gets heals, like just consistent heals here soon, he's just gonna live. Okay, that's good. The one thing I can say is Heart Strike doesn't hit for shit. Especially when you don't have that one talent. I don't think I have anything that can get rid of this. There's a counter strike as well. What are you trying to purge here? I'm not even sure if that got rid of it, but there was logic in that arcane torrent, believe it or not. Come back here, you bastard. What's happening? I guess we're just slowly pushing towards middle. I'm fine with this. Aw, oh, you juked me. You got me. I, I shouldn't have even tried to interrupt anything there. Because what's the likeliness of them actually trying to cast something there? Just about none. Mistakes, Hunter. And... stunned. I was <laughs> blanking out on the word there. I'm gonna use Vampiric just because I don't want to use it too late, and then just not have it. There's a healer. Go on him. I just need to watch my health. I need to watch my armor stacks. I'm gonna use Dancing Room up in here for the parry chance. I'm gonna use Death Chains for the extra damage on everyone. Pretty much their whole team's kind of gonna melt here. I tried to MS that, but it was a little too late. 
They also have the rest of Shaman here now, so... No, now it's a party. I suppose I should just focus the healers. It's not a bad idea. Should probably kill that Counter-Strike as well. There we go. So I'm gonna try and conserve my Runic Power here. Because I'm very low. I don't really have that much resource generation. I mean, Blood DKs really have no resource generation outside of just the normal Runic generation over time. Which I, I'd say personally I disagree with. I do think there should be that kind of... I don't think it's even RNG anymore. Generation, just some sort of consistent rune generation these days. That'd be awesome. For Blood at least, but... Because it's the only Blood DK or Death Knight spec that doesn't have just a rune generation system. Because Blood... Not Blood. Unholy has the runic generation over time chance. Frost just has the chance to happen whenever you use your Frost Strike. And then Blood just has nothing. We just have nothing. And part of me thinks that's alright. Because our generation's not bad by any means. But... <clears throat> I don't know. Do you guys like that little delay where I, <laughs> I just didn't do anything? I know they have a healer here. There he is. And the thing is, Blood Well does so much damage if you just think about it over time. Uh, I'm gonna use Icebound here. Definitely taking a ton of damage. So I'd say the most important thing when you're in a big group like this is just try to get your blood boils off because your blood boils will increase that healing from Death Strike. And that's pretty important. I'm just gonna try and run away here. See who chases. No one. Okay. That's good. I'm more fine with these games than I am with the games that just nothing happens. Even if I am losing right now. It's way more fun than... You know, just battlegrounds where nothing happens. It's just a stalemate the whole time. You're just sitting around half the time. That guy's just AFK. It's not the guy I should be hitting. I feel a hard switch coming here soon. Kinda panicked there. But that was a lot of people. Let's see. Here it is. A little late. A little early on that. Not a little late. This is a little... <laughs> a lot early. I'm just dead here. I'll try and live for as long as I can, but... Oh? Uh, I'm alright. I'm alright. Stun you. Just to get heals off this guy. Because you have to have someone to hit. That's Blood Death Knight. That's the thing. You have to have one person to hit. I'm just gonna run away. AMS and just Wraith Walk pretty much is a free getaway. This guy's pretty aggressive, so... If he still chases, I'm gonna focus him. Poor guy. I, I gripped him towards him. Let's see here. Can't really do much here. Hit him, like, I don't know how much Death Strike usually hits for, but it always hits for 5,000 plus for, for me. And that's pretty decent for a heal. Uh, I just don't give a shit about your Ray Frost. Do they have a healer? I don't think they do. Oh wait, yeah. There you are. Hello there, friend. I'm gonna use my parry here. Ah, it's one minute cooldown. I thought it was way higher than that. I thought it was two minutes on that. I should be using that way more. Oh man. This is rough. I need way more rune power. Stun that fucking pet. I meant to do that. I'm dead. Maybe. Um, I'm gonna generate my soul shards. Not soul shards. Runic power, sorry. Blanking out. Yeah, I'm golden. I'm good. I think I'm okay. I'm not even sure what it is. I think it's just my damage and my leech that I get to stat up. It's not happening. Sometimes I think I might want to play Blood Death Knight. And then I just remember it really doesn't do much damage. Unless you're just left <laughs> not focused like me. 3 million damage and healing. Not bad. Second in damage. Third in healing? Not bad at all. I think that's kind of what my other Blood Death Knight game went like, but... 
If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. If you guys want to leave any comments, also feel free to do that. Uh, I read pretty much every comment. I can't guarantee a reply, though. Um, there's one more thing. Oh, click the bell to be notified whenever I release new videos or do live streams. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.